how to add GoDaddy domain to Shopify. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can add a GoDaddy domain to your Shopify in the easiest, most simplest way possible, okay? And we all know that uh, Shopify is uh, obviously our up and uh, go running e-commerce store where we can create our e-commerce website in the easiest way and we get the general idea of how e-commerce websites work, how everything related to e-commerce works, and a whole lot more. So that is exactly what we're gonna be talking about in this video, and obviously we're gonna be using one of the best domain providers out there like GoDaddy to help us get a domain, and then we're gonna connect it to one of the best e-commerce stores out there, okay? So to start things off, what we are gonna to wanna to be doing is we're gonna go ahead into our Shopify store and I'm gonna go ahead and create a new account, okay? So when it comes to your account creation, I'm gonna go ahead with the, uh, you know, I'm gonna skip all these steps because these are steps that are not really important. So I'm gonna go ahead, click on next on my country. Now, once we do that, it's a sign up with email. So that is exactly what we're gonna go with. Here you have your email. I'm gonna paste my email over here. Then you have your password. So just, uh, I'm gonna scour it through and uh, I'm gonna click on create Shopify account. And once you click on create Shopify account, it says, welcome to the best converting checkout on the internet. And it gives you a general good idea of how these things are gonna work for you. You can sell in person and online in the easiest, most simplest way and get a good general working income and yield out of all of this, right? Now, moving on, once this starts working for you, I'm gonna go ahead and skip this to this page. So setup guide, add your first product, customize your online store, add a custom domain, name your store, et cetera, et cetera. Pretty easy, pretty simple to get your head around all of this, right? So once we're over here, you know, this is your basic Shopify dashboard, your general Shopify outlook, you know, how your Shopify feels, how your Shopify looks. So let's go ahead and relocate ourselves to the actual domain section, you know, the section where it's the place where we're gonna be working with. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come to settings down here. And once you come to settings, you're going to have domains right over here. So here's going to be your domains. And uh, you can obviously access your domains directly from this section, directly from this region. And uh, give yourself a nice outlook and working pattern of, uh, you know, creating and adding domains. So you get two options. It says buy new domain and it says connect existing domain. So you can do one or the other. It depends on whatever you want to go with. And uh, obviously it's pretty easy and it's pretty simple to just uh, connect the best ones for yourself. So uh, buying a domain from Shopify is, um, I wouldn't actually recommend that. I would recommend some other domain handler, some other domain provider, some other domain user. Like obviously I'm gonna be using GoDaddy in this video's case, but you can actually go ahead and add any other provider. But never buy a domain directly from the website you're working on because I don't know, I just don't feel like that's the best thing to do because then everything is going to be compiled in one place. So you're working on e-commerce in one place, you're working on the domain in one place as well, and it all gets jumbled up and you lose track of time and you lose track of things. And that's something that I don't, uh, you know, I don't urge. So what you can do to make these things better for yourself is obviously connect a new domain. Now, usually you don't really need a new domain because Shopify gives you a free domain that you can run for life, but this free domain isn't actually really attractive because it says something something dot myshopify.com. Now that isn't exactly what I would call an attractive URL, not a URL that people will look at and go, wow, this looks like a professional website, you know? So I'm gonna skip all that part and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, come to a page over here. Go to a new tab, and I'm gonna write godaddy.com. Now, once you write godaddy.com, it loads over here. So here it says, create your website, no charge, no obligation, nothing to cancel, all right? Now you can relocate yourself to all these domain sections where it says, get a .co for this much. You can get SSL security for yourself. You can get professional emails, Microsoft 365, et cetera, et cetera. Now, we're here for just a domain. So for that, you're gonna come in this search icon over here and you're gonna search a domain for yourself. So let's say I'm gonna write um, John has retail. Okay, we're gonna do that and we're gonna click on search domains. 
And obviously, we're going to see if this domain is available to us, you know, if this exact domain that I've entered is given to us. And if it is, obviously, it's going to give you all the options like John has retail.com is available. John has retail.online is available. Then you have all these places over here. So you get a general idea that all the certain domains are necessarily given to us, which is pretty incredible. Now, obviously, once you're over here, uh, you can choose off uh, any you know website. You can choose off any domain. Like, let's say we have this domain over here, johnisretail.com, right? I'm going to click on make it yours. So it says first year, it's going to be, you know, like it's essentially free for the first year. So once you've added this to your cart, click on continue and take this to your actual section over here. So it says protect your domain. So GoDaddy gives you full domain protection uh, for, you know, I guess around $8 per year and it gives you ultimate domain protection for around $15 to $16 per year. And that's pretty nice. It's a pretty good offer and I'd love to take that offer. It's a damn good offer and, you know, it depends on how your financing and budgeting works. So I'm just going to go with the basic support and I'm going to click on continue. Now, once you click on continue, it's going to take you to the actual checkout page. Now, in the checkout page, you can see GoDaddy. It is trusted growth partner to millions of everyday entrepreneurs. You can get, uh, you know, John Coffee Shop. You have uh, John as retail and a whole lot more. So it gives you a pretty good uh, certain general idea of how we are going to be working with all these things for ourselves. So yeah, that's pretty much about it, though. Uh, when you come here, it gives you a section to obviously spend all your money. And uh, once you get that for yourself, you're pretty much set to go. You're pretty much good to go from there. So yeah, uh, buy this domain. Now, once you finally bought this domain, you're going to come to your Shopify store. As I stated previously, go to your settings. Now, once you go to your settings, you're going to go into your domains. Okay, so here you have your domains and you can load your domains in, in the most easiest and simplest ways. From here, you're going to click on connect existing domains. Once you click on connect existing domains, you can give an example of any domain to the actual people and the domain providers. Uh, obviously, the domain you buy, you're going to add it here and then you're going to verify it through the SSL or security socket layer. And that should be pretty much it to connect things up and make it ready to go. So I hope this tutorial was extremely helpful to you. And uh, if you need any more videos like this, please do tell me I am always available and I will give you the easiest step to step guides for any type of videos that you demand. And uh, if you have any queries regarding this video, you can let me know down in the comments. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. Before signing off, please like and subscribe to the channel and uh, leave down a nice comment if you watch the video. And please don't forget to share this video with uh, any of your friends in need or your family. And uh, I hope you all have a great day. So until next time, I'll see you later and goodbye.